All right. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Go ahead. Dear Dr. Dennis and Mrs. Pat Prouty, words cannot describe how grateful I am for this award. It means the world to me. With your help, I was able to clear my tuition balance. This award has tremendously changed my life. Please allow me to share a little of my story with you. I was, I was born, born in 1984, 1984 in, in South Sudan. Sudan. At first, my life was somewhat normal for a boy living in a small village. We didn't have a school, but my father taught me some letters and numbers while I helped him with our cattle. When I was 12, everything changed. Unknown gunmen attacked our village at night. They burned houses, stole cattle, and kidnapped my father. I never saw him again. Everyone ran, and I lost track of my family in the chaos. Some other boys and I ran into a trap set by soldiers who took us to a military camp. They gave me an AK-47 and trained me how to fight. But I wasn't sure who I was supposed to be fighting for. When my second lieutenant asked if I needed anything, I said I'd like a book. I had never seen or held a book before, but I remembered something my father taught me. He drew two pictures, a gun and a book, and asked me to choose one. I pointed at the gun, but my father shook his head. Always choose the book, he told me. When the lieutenant gave me some elementary school books, I studied every day. I fought and lost my last battle when I was 14. I tried to retreat, but accidentally wandered over the border where Kenyan soldiers captured me. After keeping me in a cell for 15 days, they realized that I was just a lost boy. They set me free, but I had no home to return to. So they took me to a UN refugee camp. That was my home for the next eight years. For the first time I attended school, my teacher told me the roots of education are bitter but the fruits are sweet. And through that, I understood that education could be my way to a better future. I graduated high school with top grades and earned my place in World University Service of Canada's Student Refugee Form Program. I was excited about coming to the University of Victoria, but it took some time for me to settle into the Canadian way of life. I soon met friends, and I finished my biology degree with high grades. The following year, I entered the Health Information Science program. There have been ups and downs in my life here. I was reunited with my mom, but we lost contact again. When I went to Kenya to look for her, I met and married my wife. Now we have two children, so I must make my student budget straight to support them in Kenya. Throughout all this, Bursaries have made such a difference in my education. They helped me concentrate on my studies and feel hopeful for my future. I am currently working in Vancouver through the co-op program and will graduate in April. My dream is to work in healthcare as a health informatics professional. I hope to bring my family to live in Canada with me when I am more financially stable. I hope my history goes some way in explaining how grateful I am for the support I have received. Maybe one day we will meet so I can thank you in person. Yours sincerely, Tim Biarmachar. Hello. Hi, Tim. Hi, this is Pat. <laughs> I'm Pat. Dr. 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 Dennis. So nice to meet you. to meet you, guys. Oh. I have been longing for this day. I so have too. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing your story. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks for everything. So much to us. You're so welcome. So it's our, our honor.